One of the most curious Norwegian foods to the foreign visitor is also one of the country's most common. Brunost literally translates to brown cheese, even though it's not technically a cheese. While often eaten at breakfast time, it can be enjoyed at any time of day and is easy to find in any supermarket or hotel breakfast buffet. Much of Norway's national diet recalls its days as a poor country, when wasting nothing and preserving fish and meats to last the winter were fundamental actions to survive. As a byproduct of the cheesemaking process, brown cheese is a classic example of wasting nothing. Leftover whey from the cheesemaking process is boiled down until it caramelizes. After cooling, it's packaged up into blocks and sold nationwide. The question of whether brown cheese is healthy or not has caused controversy in Norway in recent years. It contains calcium, proteins and vitamin B and also lacks salt, but its high sugar and fat content caused one municipality to consider banning its use in schools. There are many varieties of Brunost available inside a Norwegian supermarket, with the majority produced by National Dairy Tyne. The biggest difference between the brands comes from the raw ingredient. Whey from cow's milk, goat's milk or a combination can be used, with goat's milk providing a stronger taste. The flavor and color of the final product is also influenced by the boiling time. A longer time leads to a darker color and a more intense flavor. Gud Brands Dalsist is by far the most common brand of brown cheese eaten in Norway. For many it's the only choice and is seen as the most flexible option for any occasion. Flotemisist is popular among those who prefer a milder flavor as it contains no goat's milk. Ski Queen is available in the US from Whole Foods and Amazon. Whichever brand you choose, brown cheese is almost always eaten in thin slices. It's rare to see a block of Brunost without a cheese slicer close by. A slice of brown cheese on regular bread or crisp bread makes a very quick and easy breakfast, lunch or mid-afternoon snack. But Brunost can also be eaten as part of a sweet snack, most often with a waffle and jam, or even as part of a sauce especially for game. It's fair to say that brown cheese is an acquired taste. Many people trying it for the first time with no prior expectation find the unexpected tangy sweetness an unpleasant experience. Some compare the flavor to caramel, others to dulce de leche, the popular milk candy from Latin America. For first-timers, I recommend not trying brown cheese as part of a savory breakfast. Instead, try it as a sweet snack with jam on a waffle. This will help put your mind in the right place for your first taste.